Well, SDGs in our country is a, is a challenge. As is the same is the challenge for other countries. I think we saw due to the presentations, the discussions we had, there is a lot of do, a lot of work to do. Still a lot of work to do. And specifically for Mozambique, we are trying now, there is ongoing job of a, the process of localizing the SDGs, you see, to find out a, exactly the goals where we can look at, because there are many goals. There are about 169 goals. So we have to filter to take what exactly we are going to focus on. That is the job we are doing now. There is an interministerial group that is working, different sectors, different ministers. You see, uh, the Minister of Finance is there, integrating in that group. You know, there is a specific minister which deals with the, these issues of environment. We have that minister. So we join and we try to, 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 to do this work so that we can have a specific point to act on. And the challenges, you know, any project, when we want to implement any project, we need budget. I think that is the first thing, financing. So we spoke about uh, uh, capacity building, building. I think it's also a, a need you see, to empower this this group who is working towards environment issues. The more coordination between the key actors, you see, they, be involved, they, they should be involved and assume this issue as a great priority. And uh, as you see, uh, Mozambique is worried about this. That's why in our national plan, five-year plan, we have one of the priorities, the sustainable, uh, sustainable and the transparent management of natural resources. It reflects the need for efficient environmental policies and the regulated frameworks, including the incorporation of environmental and social aspects in other sector plans and projects. So uh, our government has elected this as a priority because it's aware of the possible damages and some of the damages are visible. Uh, when, we, when we think back Recently, we are suffering due to two phenomena, droughts and floods. You see, this is the result of climate change. We have to be aware of this. We, in other words, we should wake up and take this as, as a priority. And many communities, Many communities are taking this, are uh, having another, they have another uh, view about this. Uh, I gave some examples about the leaders, local leaders dealing with the foresters. When they cut a tree, for example, they are aware that that tree will not grow uh, in few time, you see, it will take time. So they cut one and they plant maybe two, three or the trees they think they, they
they are capable to. So it means that they are being aware of this. So uh, we are trying to work together with them to show them how to, to, to make use of national resources. You see, national resources. And we try to exchange experiences in training about planning and budget. We and try to show them that they have to plan when they are using their environment. You see, the biodiversity. They have to know that if we cut trees, we can have vegetation. We cannot have what to eat because they take some some food in the forest. These fruits, such like fruits. So they should do, use the environment in a sustainable way. I can say.